Hello guys, welcome to my how to create a weapon in Blender tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how to model a simple weapon and even texture it. Firstly you wanna grab your reference image and drag it onto a flat plane in the viewport. Then you want to press shift plus A to create a plane. Then go into edit mode and select three vertices by selecting one and holding shift to select another and then delete those vertices. Then usually I like to start with the blade so I position that vertex onto the blade. Now you want to press E to keep extruding creating new vertices to form the edge of the blade. Then connect the last two dots by selecting both of them and pressing F. Then you want to try make it so that each vertex has another vertex on the opposite side of it by using the loop cut tool and positioning it. You don't have to do this with all the vertices but do it with as many as you can. Then connect try to connect as many vertices to the opposite vertices as possible. Remember you don't have to connect all of them though just as many as you can.
Now using the edge select tool you wanna select all ledges that touch up to the bottom line and press F to fill that section. Make sure you unselect the old ones after filling them. Then repeat until finished. You don't have to do this part but if your blade goes in towards the edge you can use the knife tool to create cuts which can be selected and moved to create the edge. Go to the modifiers panel and add a solidifier modifier to create the blade's thickness. Make sure to apply the solidifier modifier by going into sculpt mode and pressing apply. Then to create the sharp edge you want to select the very edge of the blade's vertices and drag them towards the opposite edge to bring it in making the edge sharper. Now that the blade is done, deselect it so that you can make it separate from the blade's mesh and press shift plus or again to make another plane. For this part it's basically the same process as the blade. Obviously you might want to add detail but I will show you how to do that later. Thank you. 
For the handle you can use a cylinder mesh and extrude one of the sides to make it longer. Make sure you remember to apply all of the solidify modifiers using sculpt mode. Now if you want to add the detail I was talking about to get the clean edges you can go into edit mode and use the bevel tool and drag the yellow thing down or up a little bit so you see the width tab in the bottom left. Then open it and change the width value to your liking. Don't make it too detailed since Roblox Studio doesn't allow insanely high poly meshes. Remember to apply all of the solidify modifiers before going on to the next step. Now once you've done modeling you want to go to the UV editing tab. Press A to select all vertices and then right click and press smart UV project. Then change angle limit to 0, island margin to 0 0.030 and area weight to 0. Then press OK and repeat this step for all parts of the weapon. Now for texturing you want to go on to a free PBR materials website, I'll leave a link to one in the description, and you want to select a material that matches the look you want to be for that part of the sword. For example I would use a damaged metal texture since it matches the blade of my weapon. Then you want to select 1k JPG and click download. Then for the next part you will need to enable the Node Wrangler add-on. To do that go to Edit, then Preferences, then Add-ons and then search up Node Wrangler. Once you see it click the box next to it so that it's enabled and then click Apply. Then you want to go into the Material Node Editor and create a new material. Then press Ctrl plus Shift plus T and select all the images inside of the material folder you downloaded.
If you want to apply this material to another part of the weapon then select the part and go to the material panel. Then select the material you just created. Then repeat this process for all parts of the weapon until you found the look you wanted. Then if you want to export the mesh to Roblox Studio you will need to go to file and hover over export and export it as an FBX. Then you want to enable the beta setting mesh importer by going to file, then beta features and selecting new mesh importer and pressing save. Then to import the mesh go to plugins, then mesh importer and select the FBX you exported from Blender. <laughs> 